Most coolants use OAT, organic acid technology, commonly known as ethylene glycol, with some additives to protect your engine. The protection is for overheating, freezing, as well as oxidation and corrosion protection when exposed to bare metal, such as aluminum and iron. Since there is no industry-wide standard in regulation with color, I've seen no adverse effect in mixing universal coolant with a manufacturer-specific coolant. Universal coolant under the Walmart or Prestone brand pours out with a pale yellow color. Add a little food dye and you can match the color of your car's coolant with a universal coolant. Food dye added to water and coolant will not stain. Toyota, for example, went from red to pink. To get a pink coolant, add white dye with red dye. Then there's Honda Blue, Mercedes Purple, Nissan Green, GM Orange, etc. So make your own coolant color. So I took a gallon of universal coolant concentrate, mix it with a gallon of distilled water to give me two gallons of colored coolant. I then add a little red food dye, stir it around till I get the color I'm looking for. And that's it. You've got matching colored coolant to mix in with the coolant already in your radiator. If you go buy colored coolant, vehicle specific, they're going for like almost $20 a gallon. That's $40 for two gallons. I go to Walmart and it's like $12 for a gallon of coolant concentrate and $1 for distilled water. I've never seen coolant really wear out. What I have seen are radiators fail and water pumps fail before the coolant shows any indication that it's failing, that the coolant starts turning brownish or murky in color, indicating wear out. These older cast iron engines were the cause of rust corrosion, but most of today's modern cars are aluminum blocks. So you just need oxidation protection for the aluminum that's getting exposed to the coolant.